as one of just over a hundred missionaries uh, that live and serve internationally through the LCMS. I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, but I currently live in the Dominican Republic. So that's quite a bit different um, than what I'm used to. I speak a foreign language most of the time. I do much of my work in Spanish and um, there are a lot of things around me that are unfamiliar. I had to cross cultures. Um, I cross cultures daily. If you stop and think about it, culture is all around you. Um, what you had for breakfast is part of your culture. I'm here at Higher Things this week and there's like a million kinds of cereal in the dining hall. If you had cereal for breakfast, that is driven by your culture. Um, if you lived in the Dominican, you might have los tres golpes for breakfast. Uh, fried cheese, eggs, salami, and mashed plantains. And that's also culture. Um, there is culture in the hallways at your school, I promise. Culture is all around you. Um, so going back to my work, I live and serve overseas, so I'm constantly um, engulfed and immersed in a different culture. And it's not always easy. Sometimes it's challenging and frustrating um, and hard to live and serve cross-culturally. I have to um, think in a different language and adapt to someone else's way of doing things that is not my own way of doing things. Um, and understand that it's not always a bad way of doing things, it's just a different way of doing things. Um, and sometimes that's not easy. Uh, but thanks be to God, we have a God who promises that we can bring our hard things and our struggles and our challenges to Him. So if you have a Bible, I want you to look up Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Um, just give that a read. And it's a comforting passage about how uh, we can bring our anxieties before God's throne. And there's a wonderful gospel promise at the end um, about peace that only he can give. Um, and if we think about who wrote those words, it was the Apostle Paul, right? Writing to the, the church in Philippi. Um, Paul was a great missionary. Uh, think about all the missionary journeys he went on, picture the map, and just how intertwined all of his travels were. Um, he crossed a lot of cultures. Elsewhere in his writings, um, he writes that he became all things to all people. So he crossed a lot of cultures and he did it effectively. And he did it all, uh, that verse says, for the sake of the gospel. Um, so that's what I want you guys to remember, that crossing cultures um, is something that all of us, all of us do on a daily basis as we live out our faith, um, but we do it all for the sake of the gospel um, so that others might know that the gospel promise is for you, right? For them. Um, and what is that gospel? Salvation and life eternal with Christ. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.